Feinstein went on to become the first woman to head the Senate Intelligence Committee and the first woman to serve as the Judiciary Committee's top Democrat. And at one point, she was in the running for one of the biggest spots on the national political stage. And Makovic has a look back in time to 1984 in a never before seen KPIX interview with then Mayor Feinstein. Yeah, it was pretty fascinating to go through it. You guys are Kate Kelly interviewed Feinstein ahead of the 1984 Democratic Convention that was being held in San Francisco. Here's what she had to say about the city where she was born and raised. Uh, I adore this city. I want it to shine brilliantly. And I want all those dissenters, and a lot of them among our own, that say, oh, this is the coup capital of the United States, to turn around and say, my God, it's a beautiful city. Look at it. At the time of that interview, Feinstein was considered a possible candidate for vice president. Walter Mondale had yet to announce his pick. Of course, it ended up going to Geraldine Ferraro, and the pair lost the presidential bid. But Feinstein had high hopes for women in politics. I think there's been an enormous shift in public opinion, and that shift is now open to a woman's candidacy. I think not only as a vice president, but I think as a presidential candidate. Now back to San Francisco, Feinstein's love for this city is so apparent. She calls it our dream and our own personal Camelot.